everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Candace. And I'm Leah, and we make travel videos every Sunday. Today we're gonna to be showing you what we're packing with us for our trip around the world. We're gonna be experiencing a lot of different climates on our trip. Starting out in Thailand, um, it's gonna be very hot and humid when, when we're there. So we're actually packing very, very lightly for Thailand. We hear there's a lot of cool markets. So you'll notice that our Thailand outfits are very, very simplified since we're going to be doing a lot of shopping there. Yes, we love shopping. Alright, so first thing on our list to get us started, we are each bringing um, a romper. We have one longer legged one, the same one right long. here. <laughs> And then we have this nice little short romper. Next thing on our list are two tank tops. So we're each bringing just a little cute tank top to wear around. You'll notice a lot of florals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and next up, what you need for every hot climate is a good pair of shorts. I'm bringing high-waisted shorts. I'm bringing one more. <laughs> so one pair of those each. Like I said, or like Leah mentioned, there's a ton of markets in Thailand, so we plan on probably getting one or two pairs of shorts. No. One or two <laughs> pairs of shorts each when we're there. We also want to get some dresses, since like we said, we are going to be traveling to different climates. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get pieces that we can layer once we go towards colder areas. Yes. But sticking with our warm travel, the next thing on our list is swimsuits. <clears throat> One swimsuit each to start. Again, we are probably gonna be shopping for more in Thailand. All right, and next up, we are bringing um, one active quick dry shirt each. Um, we can use these for either pajamas or for working out. We thought we would get one of these each just in case we need something cleaned right away. Um, they are quick dry so we could wash them in like a hostel sink or a hotel bathroom, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> And with our active wear, we're each pair bringing a pair of running shorts, which will also double as pajama shorts. All right, and then just another active shirt, could be a beach shirt, could be a like pajama a shirt. shirt. <laughs> just casual tees, nice and comfortable, nothing too fancy. And one little tip for you guys that are gonna be staying in hostels on your trip, it's good to bring a pillowcase with you. It's small and something that you can take with you in case you will find yourself <laughs> in case you find yourself in an area where it's maybe not the cleanest. So you can also double it as a laundry bag if worse comes to worse and you don't have one. Or a weapon, as I just or showed. A weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to be segueing into our colder climate clothes. And what every good wardrobe needs for cold weather is a good base layer. Okay, so kicking it off, we are bringing um, just two plain basic black tank tops each. We also each have two long sleeve base layer shirts to wear underneath our long sleeve shirts or sweaters. And then just some base layer leggings. Um, these fit underneath jeans. You can also wear them underneath our like workout shorts um, if we need a little bit more warmth, if we're going out running or something. Hopefully that happens. <laughs> Um, and then you can also wear them as like pajamas as well. All right, so we only have one pair of nice leggings right now. We plan on getting another one um, just so we can change up our looks a little bit. If we want to look a little bit nicer, we have these nice pair of leggings, super thick, more of um, like a dressed up legging, not so much casual. We're also bringing with us a pair of blue jeans each. Um, that way we have something to wear over our leggings. That way we stay extra warm in those winter climates. Next. All right, up next on the list are our shirts. Are our shirts. Next up on the list are shirts. Our shirts. Are our shirts. Are our shirts. Yeah, <laughs> our shirts. <laughs> All right, so we are each bringing um, a short sleeved, what is this kind of fabric? like a satin fabric, something that's also quick dry but a little bit more dressy. Um, we'll probably end up buying some cardigans while we're abroad, that way we have something to kind of pair it with, that way we're not just walking around in a t-shirt. <laughs> well, we have jackets too. All right, up next are a couple of long sleeve shirts. So these are gonna be great for those colder climates. Um, most of our travels, I would say, are gonna be in those colder climates in Europe. Um, so these were a necessity. We went out and got a couple of new ones, so there's still some tags on some of them. Um, so we have this one here. 
has some stripes, a couple different blocks of colors. We also have a lavender, purple, mauve, I don't know what color this really is, but a nicer, more lighter color. And then some fall colors. Yes. So we changed up the styles a little bit with each of the clothing. Um, this one has um, like a loose turtleneck. I'm not very fashionable, so I don't know all these terms, but it has like a scooter neck, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. <laughs> and then we also bought just a regular basic t-shirt, actually from the guys section in H&M. Love it. And then this one's kind of like a lighter, looser material, um, just a plain color again. Plain colors are key, so you can layer them with a lot of things, and you can mix and match. And for warmer clothing, we're also going to be bringing with us each one sweater. Um, so these are kind of lighter knit sweaters that we can wear those base layers underneath. Or if for some reason we don't have the base layers, we could wear a t-shirt underneath it as well. Sweaters are hard to pack because they're so chunky, but we did want to bring at least one each. So, Alright, up next are our accessories. So we are bringing some nice little mittens. Um, we might change these out because they're not waterproof and get some waterproof ones, but for now these will do. And we're also each bringing a beanie, so to go with our color scheme, gray and blue. And scarves. So we got these big, huge scarves, they unfold. Um, these we can use to wrap around our shoulders, our waist, on the airplane as a blanket, um, and then again as a regular scarf, obviously. Um, but it, these will probably be used in Thailand and in those colder climates. Moving on to outerwear, we each have a Marmot rain jacket. It's the Gore-Tex um, rain jacket, so it's completely waterproof. We actually tried it out in the shower. No water is going to get underneath these things. They also pack down into themselves, so they get really small, which is a good space-saving thing if you're traveling with a backpack only. And then just to add an extra layer, we each have these nano puff jackets. Um, so these pack down nicely into themselves as well. They each pack down into their pockets. So great space saving tip um, and very, very, very warm. So something that every person that's going to a hostel should bring with them is a pair of flip flops. You can also use these as uh, something to wear to the beach. So something that you can toss when you're done because they're probably gonna get gross. We're also going to be taking with us um, walking shoes or tennis shoes. So Candace has a pair of Converse and I have a pair of Adidas. So something that we can just walk around in and be comfortable with. Next up for a more dressier look um, in Europe and whatnot, we are each bringing a pair of booties. So something that's comfortable but stylish. Um, the material allows them to be packed down very easily as well. We both had our booties for a while so we don't mind being them a little bit messed up. So a few other things that we left off of our visual list um, include underwear, obviously. Um, some things for you ladies out there to bring that's a little bit more of a space saver is going to be bralettes as opposed to wire bras. And then don't pack that many socks and underwear. You're not going to need to pack like 50 pairs. You can use a washer. They have those abroad. What are the things? Um, other things that I would invest in are microfiber towels, mm -hmm. so just something that's going to be quick dry, um, so you can just hang it up and it can dry quickly while you're in the hostel. Um, they also pack down really nice. We have two in different colors so we don't get ours confused. Um, I'm also bringing a like dry bag or a laundry bag. Um, just something we can use to separate our clean clothes from our dirty clothes. The other thing that we're bringing with us is toiletries. So whatever you're used to using on a daily basis, just bring a smaller amount of that. And then we also have with us a first aid kit, um, something that you should be taking with you, just something small. It has you know, gauze, band-aids, um, sanitary wipes in case you get a cut or scrape. Just your basic essentials for when you're gonna be more active and out and about. Okay everyone, so that's our list of what we're taking on our around the world trip. If you have anything that you think we might have left out or that we should take with us, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, we also made a packing video for the electronics that we're taking in a separate backpack. We also did a separate video on the actual backpacking backpacks that we chose. Um, and if you're interested in watching either of those videos, uh, we'll put a link to those in the description down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you like our videos and turn on the notifications button. That way you don't miss a single one of our videos. Alright, well it was fun seeing you this week. We'll see you next Sunday when we dive into the next one.